Hello, I'm Hugh Lewis, Customer Services Director at Nexus. On Metro, that means making sure you have a great journey every time. Metro is part of everyday life, and from the very beginning, art has been a big part of our story. Art on Metro can mean many things. It can bring a smile to a familiar journey. It can be something unexpected, exciting and thought-provoking. We use art on the system to brighten up quiet corners. And today, we're working closer than ever with communities to create new works, new imagination at stations right across Tyne & Weir. If you want to explore art on Metro, then a great way to start is from Central Station, travelling north up to Regent Centre. In fact, uh, before you go down the stairs to the Metro at Central Station, you'll see Hillary painters from the rivers to the sea. Rivers to the Sea was commissioned from the contemporary wood engraver Hilary Painter to celebrate the 250th anniversary of the North East artist Thomas Buick, who really was the foremost proponent of that medium. It features a range of scenes from around the start of this century right across the northeast. You can see landmark from the time. The strange thing is those times have already changed so that things like the cranes at Swan Hunter not there anymore but it captures a moment in time as well as paying homage really to a glorious past. The Snow Dog at Central Station is a legacy from our 2016 charity project with St Oswald's Hospice. The dog was bought at auction by some of our suppliers and given a permanent home in Metro, which seems fitting as the dog itself pays tribute to the Stevensons and the birth of the railways. As we leave Central Station, we arrive at Monument. One of the most popular works on the Metro system is Famous Faces by Bob Ollie from the late 1990s. The work depicts 14 of the most famous celebrities from the northeast of England and was originally part of his residency at Customs House Gallery, but we thought it needed a, a wider and more permanent audience and acquired it for use on Metro. It now sits on one of our busiest staircases and is seen by millions of local residents and visitors to the region alike. Yeah, my name is Bob Olly. Um, I'm a former coal miner turned artist for some 50 years, which has been great. And I was looking for someone to open the exhibition, which was nothing to do with the Nexus or the, or the, um, the, the Metro system. And I had a friend who was then director, I think he was uh, Mike Parker, and he was kind enough to open the exhibition for me. So I thought if he's going to open the exhibition, I'll do something in return, not thinking it was going to go anywhere other than the duration of the exhibition. So I decided on this a railway carriage called Famous Faces in which there's a, a metro carriage obviously with uh, local celebrities like Sting, Jimmy Neal, Mike Neville, the late Mike Neville featured in this, this mural and uh, I thought it would just be put in a cupboard somewhere at the end of the exhibition but no it was taken up there to the, the, the monument station and installed there. Yeah I'm very pleased with the fact that it uh, has been sited in um, at the monument. Um, and I, I would like to find out how many people have actually seen it. It's got to be millions by now. It's, it's 25, 30 years ago. Um, and I, I do get comments about it occasionally. 
me, me family, they use the station quite a lot and they're always saying there's always somebody looking and poking a finger and trying to identify the people in the carriage. And the famous, famous legacy Adam. Well, it's, it's not going to do me any harm. It may not be here to appreciate it, but at least me, you know, my family take a great uh, deal of interest in what I do and, and what effect it has on, on them. You know, they, they like the, uh, the fact that people say, oh, your dad did that. And that. So it's just nice that, you know, when I've gone, it's not going to make any difference to me, but it's nice to have something that is your legacy. Right? If you're not careful, you might miss Circuit by Richard Cole at Monument Station. Intricate stencils of electronic circuit boards have been sandblasted into the stonework on either side of the stairs down from the streets above. This patterning provides a little moment of interest, a quirk on the journey. Some days you might just pass it by, other days you'll see it and smile. Parsons Polygon is not inside a metro station at all. It's on Blackett Street, above Monument. The huge polygon is made of moulded terracotta tiles, paying tribute to 19th century inventor and engineer Sir Charles Parsons, the creator of the Tabinia, the steam turbine which changed the world. Why is it here? Parsons Polygon actually covers a ventilation shaft crucial to the operation of Metro. There was originally an ugly plain metal tower on the site. Now there's a thing of beauty in an otherwise busy city street and a work of art listed by English Heritage. As we leave Monument Station, we soon get to Haymarket. Cannon was commissioned from the contemporary artist Lothar Goertz when Haymarket Station was completely rebuilt in 2008 and 2009. The work uses moments of colour to highlight points of interest on the station. As you move along the platform, you'll see the bands of colour through the white station pick out important points like cross tunnels and help points. Upstairs, the different colours are brought together in a vibrant display marking the top of the escalator and the route out and onwards to Northumberland Street and the city beyond. As we leave Haymarket, 
The next station is Jesmond. Abstract Murals by Simon Butler has been at Jesmond Station since 1983. You'll find it at the bottom of the staircases where the artist has played games with the very regular modular construction of the metro station using the same vitreous enamel but introducing colour and new angles, strange geometric shapes. After leaving Jesmond, we arrive at West Jesmond Station. At West Jesmond Station, we've installed large cases which will be home to a changing program of works. We've worked with different community organisations, a local primary school, artists in recovery, a group helping artists who are struggling with uh, problems of addiction, um, and the Baltic Centre for Contemporary Art. Who knows what could be in this space in future? We want to work with communities, hear ideas, and continue to provide a platform where millions of people can see your creative outputs. There's probably more than a million passengers a year use West Jesmond. Uh, we recently worked with the group Artists in Recovery on a, a, a series of displays there from different artists associated with that group and really brought the fascinating work that uh, Artists in Recovery do to, um, to a really large audience. I'm John Rock. I'm a North East sculptor and painter in, in, in recovery from alcoholism, I got sober in 86. I became part of Art and Transport in the middle of last year um, through Artists in Recovery and it was organised by Artists in Recovery and the artists who are part of that movement that Mark Anderson's created uh, were all invited to choose a piece of work that they wanted to represent them and also make a statement about their recovery in relation to art. What we all had to do was to choose an image which we thought would, would be great to have in that poster. And I chose the uh, Sekid Unum piece because uh, it's an actual piece of public art which relates to the area, you know. Also, what a great opportunity it was, how generous it was of Nexus, you know, because I mean, I think mine was meant to be up for three months, but I think it was actually more like four months before it came down, you know. Uh, so it was a, a fantastic opportunity, I thought, you know. Um, and as I've subsequently found out, you know, I always knew that Nexus were very, very proactive in um, commissioning artists over, 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 over a long period of time. There's a lot of it. But finally to become just a little, little part of that was fantastic, you know. But it really made me feel like I acknowledged in a very healthy way, you know made me feel like I was, you know, with the sculpture at Segedun and that, it made me feel like I was at least part of the scene up here. From West Jesmond, our next stop for art is Regent Centre.
Metro Morning by Anthony Lowe is on the outside of Regent Centre Metro Station. Art can be both timeless but also capture moments in time. Anthony Lowe's mural depicts travellers and metro staff on a rush hour metro train. It's from the late 90s and perhaps the fashions and hairstyles gives that away, but it's a fascinating moment in metro's history. Above the stairwell at Regent Centre, you'll find an example of the Obey campaign artwork by Shepherd Ferry. This was put up as part of a collaboration with the Baltic Centre for Contemporary Arts in 2007 during its Spank the Monkey exhibition. It was never meant to last, it was a moment in time, but somehow it survived and now it's become a very treasured part of the art on public transport and the things you can see as you travel around our metro system. I hope you've enjoyed our brief tour. And next time you're on Metro, look up, look around, take time to enjoy some of the art on public transport. <laughs>